What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Oh man, I haven't said my last name in a while, eh? But it, okay, so I just wanted to run something quick, quick um, by you guys because I um, was reading the comments uh, on, because I do read the, the comments from, from everybody in the community, right? Who subscribed and all that. So I read one where it was, um, it just made me think of something and uh, the person said, the, uh, the subscriber said, well, you know, like, uh, I can't afford BJJ right now, but you know, it was an interesting video anyway, because on uh, the last video that I just uploaded that I had made, it's on uh, uh, the belts and what they mean, what they represent in BJJ in terms of uh, skill level. So if you haven't checked that out, then check that out. Um, you know, if you if you want, of course. Oh, like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and of course, sharing is caring, helps me grow the channel. And I'm almost at a thousand subs, guys, so I'm, I'm really happy. Thank you for everyone for uh, subscribing. It really means a lot to me, right? And it, it encourages me to, to keep pushing forward, keep making videos, and keep doing what I'm doing, and uh, to get better at it, really, you know? Because right now, if you guys haven't noticed, I mean, my videos are, are essentially just me uh, in front of a, a camera talking or maybe doing a couple of workouts here and there. But, uh, you know, I don't have any video editing skills yet, but I plan to, and yeah. Okay, so he was saying that, you know, like it's, uh, it's, it's expensive, so, you know, and, and made me think of something, man. You know, one of the things that I, I really enjoy about judo, and, and this is something that my coach ingrained, instilled into me, right? He made me realize, and I, I think this to be true, is that the thing, you know why everybody wears white in judo? You know, the way there, there's no colored geese or none of that crap. I mean, there's the blue gi, right, for competition, for international competition to separate, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the opponents so that, you know, it's easier to score and all that. So for international competition, for those of you guys who don't know, you have to have a white and blue gi, like, on you. Because, you know, you, if you're, if, uh, let's say, the one match, Okay, they decided that you're wearing blue, you're wearing blue, dude, so you have to have a blue gi on, right? And then, of course, if they decide, and the other person will have white, right? That's at the international level, right? For international competitions, you have to have that. In um, the one, the, the other competitions, they're regional and all that, well, you don't need to, uh, but you can if you want to, right? Uh, but if you don't, then it's okay, you just wear like a, like they, they give you like a, a extra belt, a blue belt and a white belt for the other person, regardless of what belt color you are. So, okay, so the reason why in uh, everybody wears white, that's it, that's all in judo, right? Is because Kano, okay, Jigoro Kano, when he, the founder of judo, when he invented judo, he wanted something, he wanted everyone to have access to this. So whether you're rich or poor, okay, this is the meeting ground. Right, so when you come into judo, there's no more class. He wanted to break the class system, you know? So that means that we don't know if you're rich or if you're poor, if you're royalty, if you're a slave, if you're, okay, maybe not a slave, but a, a peasant or a farmer or whatever. It didn't matter. Whatever station you are in life, on the tatami, everybody's equal. And everybody has the chance and made the best I wouldn't say made the best man win, but everybody's on an equal playing field. So it doesn't matter your background, how rich or how poor, how educated or how uneducated you are, it doesn't matter. When you're on the tatami in judo, everyone's the same. Everyone wears white, that's it, that's all. It, belts didn't even exist, right? Belts was actually an invention by a French judoka. I don't know the name, sorry guys, you guys could look it up on Google, but uh, it was invented later so that it would be more um, motivating for people because in, uh, in in judo, like the old judo, it was essentially white, and then after like years of training, black, <laughs> something like that, right? So that's the idea behind judo, right? Is that when you're there, okay, you could be training even though it allows. And the beauty of it, and this was what my coach was explaining to me, is that you are you're able to a guy who works how do you say it? in a in a for example somebody who works at dollarama could be next to a guy who's like a, a lawyer no problem because on a tatami nothing else matters you know it's how hard you work your skill level mutual respect that's why there's a the whole bowing thing 
Uh, I, I love that about the, uh, uh, with, um, with judo is that before you start, I mean, there is that in, 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 in other sports too, right? Like in, in, in BJJ, there is a camaraderie, a camaraderie, uh, brotherhood kind of thing that develops, of course, right? But I mean, what I like about, about judo is that you bow before, before you get on the tummy, you bow, obviously. And then after that, when, uh, before you start the class, you bow. But when you're fighting, right? When you're about to start a randori, you know, your adversary, you bow to him first, right? He bows to you. And then you fight it out. You fight it out, right? Whoever wins, wins. It doesn't matter. No matter how, if you won or how you lost, if you won or if you lost, you bow to your opponent after. So what happens during that fight is that's it. That It ends there. It starts and it ends there. And then we respect each other for being there for each other to train because, you know, you have to respect the guy in front of you. If that dude wasn't there, you would train with absolutely nobody, you know? Um, so that's what I really, it just came to my mind. So that's the thing with judo. Now, and also judo was, uh, I'm not sure in, in, in Kano's time, but I think it was relatively cheap or free, right? And even now, because there's a federation behind it, right? When there's a federation uh, behind a sport, right? Everything is cheaper, right? Think about it, boxing, wrestling, man, those things don't cost nothing, nothing. Like, okay, well, boxing, you gotta buy gloves and all that, but I mean, it doesn't cost that much. Whereas uh, when you look at BJJ, and this is not a knock on BJJ at all. I love BJJ, but it does put a barrier um, for entry right mainly money because it costs money it's it's either two to three times more expensive right um if to do bjj than it is to do judo like it really is so so that was actually one of my first first videos like about a year and a half ago and uh, one of the reasons i switched not because i didn't like bjj because i lost my job i ran out of money and then uh, i was like oh man i guess i'll just stay home and do push-ups and you know shadow box or whatever you know uh, stuff like that, and then uh, I, I was talking to that to one of my um, my uh, teammates, right? Uh, who did BJJ, but he, who who is now my judo coach? Because, well, you know, he he spent all his life doing judo at a, to, a, to a very high level, right? And then uh, he was there, and he's like, "Hey, why don't you come do judo? I give classes here." So I'm like, "Yeah, I don't got money, bro." He's like, Dude, first of all, he's like." Just come, train. Ah, I won't even charge you. Whatever. Just come, have fun, right? We'll talk about that later. And uh, you know, it's already it's like thirty bucks a month or something like that to train judo. You got to pay your license though, but that's that's the only thing. And even even at the beginning, you said, yeah, you don't have money. You just lost your job. Whatever, just come, right? And then he even told me, hey, hey and the competitions are like twenty bucks. Twenty bucks a competition. That's pretty good. My jewel was like 30 bucks when I went for the first competition. And it's not lower than, than 30 bucks, 40 bucks now. But I mean, it's still much cheaper than a BJJ competition. And this is in, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So that's, that's, in, that's in Canadian dollars. So it's like 40% less expensive than, than US as of now, right? It's a one, the, the exchange rate is 1.4, something like that. So that's the thing. So then what happens when you put such a high price, right? Um, uh, uh, you know, per month for, for a sport like, like BJJ, uh, even Muay Thai now is like, Woof! because of the popularity of MMA and all that, bang, it's, you know, it's, it's up, man. People are like, yeah, time to make money. It's a business. I understand nothing wrong with making money, guys. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's just that when you put a barrier like that into, um, um, in, into, into a sport, into a martial art, what happens is that now you only now you separate the classes so people with lower income right or who are struggling or it isn't their priority in their life but you know so like they look at that and they can't do it they can't do it or they won't do it because you know they rather uh you know they need their money for for other things so that's why then what happens is like it's only rich people that well not necessarily rich but you know generally speaking okay i'm generalizing here so it tends to be now all of a sudden only people who have money, right? Who make enough money or, or who are rich, so to speak, who can do BJJ, right? Which is, um, which is why I find judo is a more beautiful thing. Not a more beautiful thing, but it's a beautiful thing. What judo does is that it's so cheap so everyone could get in. So you could be from the ghetto. Uh, you can be from 
to be rich, it doesn't matter. You're going to pay the same price. And on the tatami, you all wear white. Of course, now, like, there's different brands, you know, like, you know which ones are like, oh, Adidas, Mizuno, and all that, you know. But and it doesn't matter. Who cares? You know, you could buy, like, a cheap, but that's the thing. So, so then it's, it's, a, it's like a melting pot of classes in judo. So you can have an engineer and you can have a guy, a, a waiter. You can have a guy that works in construction. You can have a, a student. It doesn't matter. It could all mix in, right? Not saying that there's not a mix in, in, in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but I'm saying it's more expensive. So, you know, it's either the ones who really want it, right? And who like, whatever, man, it's, it's so important that who cares? I'm still going to pay $100, $200 a month, whatever, to, to train. Uh, but then, but then it clo- it shuts the door to 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 other people too, who would have probably would have tried it, and maybe liked it, and and you know became really great uh, jujitsu players. But hey, you know uh, that that money barrier there. So that's the thing. It just makes it more um, it divides the classes a little bit when it comes to uh, uh, you know money because judo is cheap, so everyone. Uh, it's accessible, whereas BJJ is a little bit more expensive, so it's less accessible to people who are not already in love with grappling, and um, for people who don't have uh, money, so to speak, right? I hope, I know I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit, but so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts. Do you think that uh, BJJ would do better or like if if they if they they drop their prices maybe or maybe if they 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 you know they organize some kind of federation you know like a unified federation you know so that everyone follows a certain structure do you think it's worth it I know it's it's a business for them which is fine which I have nothing against business right nothing at all about people making money but do you guys believe it should be more accessible to 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 everybody or do you think you like it as it is? Uh, and um, yeah, that's it. Let me know below, guys. So, listen, like the video, share it, please. You know it. You know, and uh, it helps me grow the channel. Of course, click on the notification bell. And uh, I'm gonna continue making these videos. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from you guys, so I really appreciate it, man. I try to answer the comments uh, uh, as much as I can, uh, but I still have to do other stuff too. But you know, I'll always end up getting back to you one way or another. And if uh, I didn't answer a question, just throw it again. And um, yeah, eventually I'll get to it. Or send me an email. That way, like I, I get it and I know. Okay, this guy really wants me to answer his question, so then I'll really answer it. Or oh yeah, follow follow me on IG, right? So it's OG um, OG dot fit seventy nine, right? You're gonna see the logo and everything. So and my face, I think the logo. Anyways, so if you send me a message there, like for sure I'll I'll answer you. But sometimes with the with YouTube is that you put the comments down, but it's like in this video and that video, and when I'm on my phone, sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't, or I see it and I forget to answer. But if it's on IG, I'm, I'm more responsive on IG uh, for now because I'm still uh, pretty small, right? But um, so so I'll take, you know, as long for as long as I can, is as much as I can, I'll always answer questions and comments and all that, right? And then we'll, we'll figure out some other way if, if uh, this thing gets really big at one point, right? But uh, hey, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, almost at a thousand. So help me out, guys. All right, see you in the next one. Peace.